Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top beautiful, a little bit windy day here in the end times in the Point Lonesome Swamp. It is now Sunday afternoon, uh, February 21st, 2021, and I think history might be being made on Humpty Dumpty Tribe at this very second. Uh, this is not the first round of my day. This is not the second. This is the third round. I have I have uh, stepped way out of character and uh, listened. So f I, I, I had one rant this morning and went back and listened to it. I was all set to publish it. I went back and listened to it and said, Hambone, this rant could cause some problems in your life. So I deleted it. So then about noon, I started again. I did another rant on a, uh, on a, uh, the same subject. Went back and listened to it and said, Hambun, you know, as fun as it would be to publish this rant, there could be some serious blowback, even more serious blowback in your life with that one than the one this morning. So I deleted my second rant. It is now Sunday afternoon. We are, we are going to have a third rant on the subject of making enemies, about uh, turning friends into enemies, the whole subject of making enemies. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've read my, several times, I, I've read my uh, horoscope out of the, the birthday book for September 22nd people, and what it talks a lot about in that horoscope about people born on September 22nd is our unbelievable penchant to make enemies. Uh, what is I should have called it? I should have called this up to read the the excerpt from that as many times as I read it about how our ability that particularly our our what do they say our ironic macabre sense of humor uh, is, is being misunderstood by people and uh, how. We go through our lives making enemies, uh, most of them unintentional. Uh, just how bumbling through life, the uh, September 22nd person, uh, you know, how enemies pile up over a life. Does this one, one day you think someone's your friend and then the next minute, the next day you find out this person is uh, that well either this person is your enemy or m more likely I guess on the September 22nd person yeah, that you are another person's enemy another person has put you uh, on their shit list so I have been uh, I've been having this rant boiling for quite some time about uh, about enemies and just the, the, just the whole subject of it, but you know, you need to be very careful <clears throat> when making a, a rant uh, about the subject of enemies you know, having the, the rant being heard by the person who uh, hates your guts and uh, basically wants you to die. And so, I mean, someone was just asking me, I, I guess, and if you guys haven't figured out, someone was just asking me on the comments what happened, uh, you know, to all your, to your, to like 6,000 of your videos. And, uh, you know, I, I ripped them down off of Humpty Dumpty Tribe because of uh, how weird it is in the 
Point Lonesome Swamp, you know, the first two weeks I was here, I had two people call the cops on me, and I can't believe I'm being so uh, reckless as to uh, as to start making videos again. We will see how long it is before a cop, a third cop, is knocking at my door. What does it take, Hambone? to uh, shut your smart mouth. But anyway, uh, for whatever reason, I'm slowly starting back up these. So uh, in the middle of all this, thinking about the whole subject of enemies, coincidentally enough, uh, I turn on the mainstream media uh, to CB, you know, the Yahoo News, and CBS News having a uh, <clears throat> this long article. I guess they're also doing a, a television uh, TV news item on this guy. Uh, you might recognize this name, <clears throat> Rory Den Hollander. Uh, I think he called himself Den. Rory Den Hollander. Uh, is a 72-year-old attorney uh, who went out and killed several people. You know, all of the bullshit and the enemies that he had made or perceived enemies, whether they were real enemies or not or whatever. Uh, the successful attorney uh, d just finally cracked last summer. Uh and uh, ending up with this story today in CBS News, why did a crazed gunman take his own life in a remote New York town after killing spree? And uh, so this is this story uh, about Roy Dean Hollander. Uh, how many people... Uh, I guess he snapped on July 20th, uh, it's when he uh, finally killed him. It, it, what, what happened is, how many people did he kill? I, I, anyway, I, I, I don't even know. This is a long, involved story. I think that he killed, he gunned down two people and maybe tried to kill a couple more, but anyway, you know, he had his little enemies list of, uh, so he goes and, and, and gets a gun and starts killing people, and uh, then the cops are on him, and he goes to this little, uh, to the end of a dirt road uh, in this little small town in upstate New York. The guy gets literally to the end of a dirt road in a small town, pulls out a gun and blows his brains out. And so what this this article and this TV uh, story they're doing on him is talking about this, but uh, what I really like, so anyway, uh, the uh, so the, I guess it was the FBI, you know, of course they got, I, I love this quote from uh, FBI Special Agent Joe Denaham, quote, he was an unusual and unstable person. One of the themes that we saw was he was very, very angry. Yes, he was. He was very, very angry. Thank you. It took the FBI special agent, you, you know, cleaning up this guy's brains off of the dirt at the end of the dirt road and uh, counting the body bags he left behind to determine this man was very, very angry. And this, what they, uh, so they actually found, uh, I guess, Den Hollander, uh, left behind a rambling 1,700-page self-published book. This was his kind of uh, unauthorized autobiography, which uh, this man, before uh, killing these people and himself, 
He titled it Stupid Frigging Fool is the title of his uh, the title of his autobiography, Stupid Frigging Fool, where he rants about his abject contempt for his mother, to whom the book is dedicated. The dedication of his book, Stupid Frigging Fool, reads, To mother, may she burn in hell. Yes, that is a fine way to start off a 1,700-page rambling autobiography, but uh, I just had to share this quote because it is so perfect uh, it, from what I've been talking about. You know, a 61-year-old man, what I've been spending way too much time on is counting the enemies I have made, most of them unintentional, like the one I made this morning, for instance. Uh, just counting up my enemies I have made over my life. And this is what uh, Den had to say about enemies in his 1,700-page uh, book, Frigging Fool. Quote, the only problem, the only problem with a life lived too long is that a man ends up with so many enemies. He cannot even the score with all of them. Close quote. Yes, the only problem is that you cannot even the score with all of your enemies <laughs> before evening the score with yourself, I guess, and blowing your brains out. And uh, so, anyway, it is a struggle, guys. Enemies, you, you know, th there has never been more of a time in human history, especially down here in the Doomosphere, you know, I've had this uh, this rant many times, usually talking about Guy McPherson and the ass-licking toadies, when all we have is each other. It, it, you know, it, down here in the Doomer community, the tiny few of us who understand how fucked we are. And there has never been a time in our own lives uh, and as humanity that we need to stick together. And the last thing we need to be doing is, uh, is making enemies. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I guess as Dan would say, even the score with all of your enemies while you still can before the big score is evened for all of us. See, how many enemies you can go to the grave with, I guess, is the big uh, challenge. But I, uh, I am certainly doing fine for myself. My list of enemies is literally growing daily and I probably don't even know how many enemies I have made today. I guess I'll find out if, a, uh, if the third cop car comes rolling down to the end of the dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp, wanting to talk to me that one of my enemies I did not like something I had to say. <sighs> yes, little dog. Are you still my friend? What would it take to make the little dog my enemy? Good Lord. Friendship. <sighs> Why do we even attempt friendships? Buy a fucking dog. Do not trust anybody, especially that you meet down here in the Doomosphere. 
do not trust anybody, including me. And my enemies will be the first to tell you that. Bye, guys. Do you trust me to take you on a walk and not feed you to an alligator?